Uh, hello, my name is Andrei. Uh, in today's video, I'll be going through a couple of different solutions uh, to read data from PDF and prepare it for LLM processing. Uh, in general, it seems like it's a very important step uh, to pre-process data that is being extracted from PDF before it's being sent to LLM. Because uh, the better is pre-processing, uh, then more chances to get more accurate and correct response from LLM. And this is true, especially for the table structure that uh, is coming from uh, PDF, uh, because it seems like for LLM it's quite a challenge to extract uh, uh, table um, relationships, uh, when, especially when uh, the the raw data which is coming from PDF is uh, uh, not in a proper format. <clears throat> even uh, when data is structured well, even then sometimes uh, for LLM it's uh, a challenge to extract the data. So the goal must be that we should try to uh, send data to LLM which is pre-processed as good as possible. And today I'll not talk about some specific solution for this, but uh, uh, I'll talk about uh, three different tools that I'm evaluating now uh, to be used inside Sparrow for data preprocessing. And I'll just show you a couple of examples how it works so that you get understanding about the complexity and the, about the importance of the data preprocessing for LLM. So this is the uh, sample document. It got uh, uh, the header, uh, seller client information table, uh, with uh, invoice items, and then there's a summary table with the totals. This is the same document I'm using in the previous videos. It's just like a, a sample test uh, document to evaluate the performance of LLM. Okay, okay and then what I do, I, I, I read this document with uh, pre-processing tool and then I extract the output and then I have three outputs uh, listed here and the, those tabs and uh, then we can see the quality of the response uh, of uh, each tool based on the output we see. Okay, so first one is a marker. Uh, it's a open source uh, library uh, which, is, which is using uh, a set of ML models to extract data from PDF and uh, to understand this data and then and then it's trying to uh, output uh, markdown structure. Uh, uh, the text uh, comes as a markdown and it tries to mimic the uh, layout of the original PDF document. This uh, the markdown format is quite good because uh, it's uh, it's easy to read this format and uh, it's easy to LLM for LLM to process it. And also you can easily convert uh, Markdown to HTML, for example, and uh, send HTML to LLM and so on. So uh, this is the output. First of all, if you look into the uh, header, then the header invoice number is missing. For some reason, marker uh, often does the mistake and it doesn't include like a top information from the document in, in the response. So you can see even with this kind of simple document, uh, already there are some issues uh, when we review the output. Okay, seller and client, we can see over here on this side, uh, it's kind of all comes in one line and then seller client information, uh, it's not separated, it's just a uh, uh, comes as a single block. This is not good either because it will be hard for LLM to guess where is the seller and client information where one information ends and another starts. And more importantly, table. Look that. Let's look into the table. Uh, the headers are extracted almost correctly, or, or, or probably actually not almost, but correctly. But the values are not because. Uh, uh, it's kind of getting confused with the, with the number column. So it's using number column and description goes under the same column. And then for the description we get value which should be under quantity and so on. 
and then for the gross worth because all the columns are shifted to the left then the last one gross worth is empty and the gross worth go, goes on the VAT and so on. So with this kind of output uh, LLM uh, most likely would produce incorrect information already. And this is just a, a simple table. When I was testing with more complex data, more comp complex PDFs from from uh, actual real customer use cases, it was performing even worse. So we got here the second table, uh, the smaller one. Uh, it's extracted better uh, under gross worth. We have correct values as uh, we see them in the actual table. Okay, so that's about marker. Then let's uh, check another one. Uh, uh, Pi MU PDF library. It is also open source with some special licensing. And this one extracts invoice number, date of issue, then it does better job here because seller and client are located at least there's a, uh, there's a line separation between seller and client and uh, they're not uh, just uh, all this information, not on a single line. Then in terms of the table, we get this kind of uh, structure where columns, column names are extracted uh, as they should be, but then the values are completely uh, my stopped. There is a description goes uh, last after the values. Then there is a number. Then uh, then all other co column values are coming here, and description for the reason, for some reason goes at the end. So again, this kind of output would not be uh, suitable for LM. Uh, the summary table is a simpler one. It's extracted correctly. And I should say that, actually, uh, based on the sample document, uh, as you see, the output is not great. But then when I was testing with a larger variety of documents from the actual real documents from the customer, I should say that this uh, library uh, Pi MU PDF was performing quite good on more complex tables. Uh, it sounds strange, but uh, this is what I saw, that on more complex layouts it is performing quite decently. Uh, marker wasn't performing well at all and uh, the third one is unstructured it works quite well uh, in most of the cases but there are situations where it fails to read uh, uh, the complex table layout or it's also missing uh, and so missing some values and instead of uh, uh, original value it printing some modified value and this is visible even on this simple simple uh, document. So invoice number and all this form data is extracted correctly and then we have a table and differently from previous two libraries, unstructured returns uh, HTML format for tables which is very useful and it's very easy to read. In this case uh, the table header information is extracted correctly and the rest uh, is also extracted quite well. Uh, this one uh, issue here with the first column, for some reason, does include uh, values into the number column, so it comes empty. And another issue with UM column, if uh, if you look here, uh, the value is uh, is spelled incorrectly. So instead of H letter, there is a N letter at the end. And on real PDFs, I saw also, uh, not too often, but there are cases when it's uh, missing the number or missing some letter. And if you look into this uh, second table, it's extracted, small one is extracted correctly. With, uh, uh, here we get uh, total and uh, all other values are actually correct. So based on this test, as we can see, uh, unstructured performs the best and I'm busy actually implementing this data pre-processing in Sparrow to improve complex layout processing and table processing and I'm now uh, evaluating similar solutions like those ones and I'm trying to uh, maybe combine 
and merge multiple uh, solutions into one and try to uh, to implement something which would help to uh, pre-process data for complex layouts and as a result would improve the output data extraction output from from the LLM. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.